Hey guys, what's good? Welcome to Order of Opinion. I'm your host, Tim. This is my co-host, Anthony. What's good, guys? For those of you returning or just tuning in, we are going over our ranking of the movies in the Marvel Cinematic Universe from the shittiest to the greatest. Order of Opinion. Okay, so at number three, I have the Avengers... Age of Ultron. An age being two hours and 20 minutes. It felt which actually within the movie felt like an age. It did feel like an age. They did a lot. There was a lot going on there. Um, I gave it an 8.5. And uh, I completely agree with you. I also have it at number three for me, uh, Anthony, with an 8.5. That's right. And I'm Tim, by the way. Because we'll never. Fucking intro. <laughs> yeah, we'll never remember to do that. All right, though, so what what do you think? Avengers, you know, this is the second one coming out. They definitely made it bigger. Yeah. And the story is super complex, which I yeah. think we've discussed may have been why... I think that's sort of the reason why a lot of people didn't like it. Yeah. Is that you had to dig into some undertones there um, that maybe you, you didn't really get the first time. I think this is one of those movies that... I mean, we've watched it. I've watched it personally at least four times. Yeah, dude. So it's been a lot. <laughs> four times too many. And I but... feel like you have to have a master's just to diagnose Ultron. <laughs> like he is a deep character. Yeah. He goes through a lot in this one. Yeah. And and so do some of the heroes. Yeah. I think especially. I already asked you who's. I mean, the main character to me is Tony, obviously. And yeah. With his jackassery. It, yeah. The main character, like the main hero, would be Tony, and then obviously Ultron. I think is the actual like main character. Yeah. Because other than that, all the other, like, Ultron's the only one that has a real plan. Everybody else is sort of reactionary. Yeah. So he is the driving force of the plot. And I think this is the first movie with any of the heroes, well, I'm just not including Iron Man, which we've seen in the Iron Man movies, <laughs> where literally all of this was their fault. Yeah, every single They thing. had a mission that was, you know, connected to Loki still and did this mission and from there created their own chaos, or at least one man created his own chaos, based off of a theme in the movie, big two big themes, which is who's the real monster? You know, out of the out of all these people, the good and the bad, who's the real monster and what fear drives you to be? Does it drive you to be the monster? I you would know? agree, yeah. yeah. And also in terms of being a monster, you, this is the first time you start seeing the heroes really take accountability into um, their yes. minds. Yes, Especially you see... A way it, above like, Avengers 1. Oh, right? yeah. Like, <laughs> Avengers 1, shit just kind of went down. They're like, all right, well, aliens versus humans. Let's see who can live. And <laughs> The only one in Avengers 1 who wanted to save people was Cap. Yeah. That's because he is a blessed man. Well, and that's because he has to be on the ground also. Yeah. <laughs> he can't He's fly. the greatest. Dude, I wish he could fly. They should but make him an Iron Man suit. As you go through this movie to the end... Is Cap the real hero? I mean, he's definitely the coach. He's definitely, you know, he has some great speeches. Yeah. You know, but, <laughs> you know, Iron Man s essentially saves the world twice. Yeah. So if he if he's fucking, you know, if he wants to segregate against aliens and say, you know, I want some District 9 shit to go down, we should <laughs> listen to him because he's the only motherfucker that's really seen it. And he's all, but at the same time, he also is going a little crazy. Like, yeah. So he's right. Yeah. And he is the hero, but his ideas are super flawed. Yeah. Like, just creating... Well, and it's, and it's fear. Yeah. Like I said, I mean, you know, the, the, the point of why he does what he does is the this illusion that he doesn't take it as, as an illusion. And it's um, a common theme. You know, um, you see this whole, I want to prevent or basically police the world. Um, yeah. They've been doing it a lot in Marvel from a lot of different sides. With his shitty Iron Legion. <laughs> yeah. That looks looks like a kid made out of bionicles and fucking you just rip them apart with anything apparently. Yeah, and I think one of the driving themes in this is is when you try to police the world, whether you're a good guy or a bad guy, it always ends up falling apart. When you're Tony. When you're Tony. <laughs> well, even Shield, they didn't. Yeah. Most people in Shield didn't understand they were working, you know, for Hydra. Yeah. And most like That's Loki true. didn't realize the actual goal of getting the Infinity Stone. He just wanted. To take over the power, Earth. Yeah. yeah. So no matter what side you're coming from, there's a real repercussion that I guess they show a lot more in this movie. 
yeah. to wanting to take over the world or to protect the world. Yeah, and, and what choice do you have, essentially? Yeah. Do you, do you save everyone or do you save people that you need to save now? Yeah. To prevent that, you know, it, it I, I really like that balance they had in the movie. And uh, the movie starts off, I think, great, right? With, and I'm a sucker for action scenes in the snow. Oh, but yeah. I thought it was really good. It, you know, some parts of the action scenes looked, you know, extra green screeny. You know, yeah. Like, when so. um, Thor fights the dudes on top of the tower, it looks cool. And then when yeah. he jumps down, it, it looks, looks weird. like he's swinging a giant, you yeah. know, giant fake dildo at them. <laughs> essentially, there's some moments <laughs> where it's really cut and paste. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but the whole cap throwing the dude into two <laughs> other dudes. Fucking him throwing the motorcycle into the That's Humvee. a fucking like, fatality. That was great... <laughs> How many Marvel <laughs> and movies? And then they also show Cap finally, like, so that they can explain his shield a little bit and how he uses it, showing he has a magnet thing on yeah. his arm, whatever the fuck that is. And he's not just Harry Potter. Yeah. You know. <laughs> um, and, and also, too, how many times are in a Marvel movie are they going to use, or not necessarily use his weapon, but just generally disregard motorcycles? They yeah. do it twice in this movie. They don't give a fuck about motorcycles. Yeah. Because apparently Avengers are getting sponsored by them. So. <laughs> yeah, Harley Davidson sponsors the Avengers. They do the meet and greet with the dudes from um, uh, Sons of Anarchy. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, so uh, apparently Strucker uh, has Loki's scepter and has been deriving the power from it. Were Strucker's um, dudes a joke? I, I thought they were a parody. Yeah, Strucker, we can't do that. And he's like, I know we're going to lose. But you know? And the one dude wanted to use Quicksilver and Scarlet Witch. Yeah, and, and Strucker says, nah. Nah. He's like, they're not ready yet. I'd rather just, like, take my chance. Yeah. And arguably, he probably would have lost either way. <laughs> <laughs> well, he had a fucking shield over the city. Yeah, but then he shoots, like, that little, um, like, G-Spot Seeker missile and just destroys the shield. Yeah. scanning it in 2.5 seconds flat. Yeah. Like, he just And that knows. was weird. And, like, he was just already ready to give up the scepter. Like, he was like, all right, have it. Yeah. I had it long enough. Like, it's good. Yeah, because he doesn't <laughs> want to... He, so he's, like, Hydra's thug, right? He's yeah. their main military dude, they sort of imply. Yeah. Um, yeah, I would give up, too, considering what's going on with Hydra. He even shouts it out, too. He's like, well, I was working for S.H.I.E.L.D. the whole time. So, you might as well give up. Your plan fails. This is the end of the line. The only people who really don't give up are the twins at this point, because they see the real damage that this can cause. Yeah. Especially when she um, she goes and she looks into his head, and she sees this vision that he has, this paranoia of just literally killing everyone. Yeah. Like not or, or not saving them. Yeah. Not necessarily killing them, but yeah. yeah. Getting so, them killed. Which is what he does, almost does anyways. Every movie. <laughs> almost every movie. It's somehow he has caused something that has almost gotten everyone killed. Yeah. And, you know, in, 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 the, in the snow scene, it's like, uh, even when, they like he said, he wasn't trying to use them, but then they go Quicksilver and Scarlet Witch go and fight anyways. And that's the first scene you see with, which I loved about the movie, the little Quicksilver Hawkeye connection. Yeah. You know, they have a couple of those, and Hawkeye just punched him, and he's like... You didn't see that coming? <laughs> you know? Like, that was hella funny, and uh, and then Cap's just like, as if he just knows this within a military battle, he's like... We have an enhanced in the field. Yeah, he just, <laughs> he made, it's like he makes it up on the spot. <laughs> like, that's just his go-to. We got enhanced on the field. That's how much Look of out. a leader he is. He or maybe up... he's just scared, because he's never had anyone else enhanced yeah. fighting him like that. It, that's does, true. Loki sort of. Well, no, no uh, Red Skull. Red Skull. Loki. Does he? Yes, he does one on one. Yeah. Oh, uh, that's for in a Germany, bit. I think, or yeah. whatever. Yeah. And he fights Red Skull in an airplane. Yeah, which um. was the worst fight ever. <laughs> Until for well, being two superhumans, that was the worst fight ever. But yeah. Caps, you know, because he's the greatest, right? You know, he he is Babe Ruth. <laughs> he is Walter Payton. He is Michael Jordan. He is Tiger Woods' uh, pre-prostitutes. <laughs> He's the greatest. And, uh, yeah, th those little scenes with Cap and all of his leadership scenes, they're just great. They just make you smile. And you're just like, dude, Cap's, he's great. You Cap know? does bring a smile to your face every time. I, maybe our face, at least. I don't know about everybody else's face, but who cares? If you don't like Cap, something's seriously wrong with you. I smile at least ten times 
a movie when ca- that caps in. Literally, he can turn his head and it's like, damn, that shit was awesome. <laughs> yeah, and uh, yeah, like like you mentioned that uh, Iron Man goes to get the the scepter, and uh, Scarlet Witch falls him, and of course, instead of killing him, she makes him you know see this whatever future intuition that the he days has. The of that's... future past. <laughs> <laughs> and even in that scene, let's talk about Cap some more, because he is the greatest. He's even great at, in a dream, dying. <laughs> that's right. Like, his... <laughs> you could have saved us. Like, Dude, and <laughs> not to mention that also, like, that was hilarious. He, yeah. He, like, he... Perfect. Just perfect. Right. Just like his hair, just like his face, just like his acting... It was perfect. And yeah, what was are we still also- talking about Captain America? <laughs> oh, we're talking about Captain America. You couldn't have quoted a better actor. Like, if this were insurance quote, you'd be like, damn, that's the best thing we could have gotten right there for Captain America. But yeah. but even when he kills or beats up Strucker, like, how awesome is that? He just fucking Kicks literally... up the shield. <laughs> like- and, then, and then right after that, it's like this weird... And it, if you notice this, like I was saying, they show Quicksilver in first person. Yeah. Quicksilver in third person. They show Scarlet Witch, like, she fucks up Cap, does her little red orgasm thing out of him, and <laughs> fucking conjuring style, ring style, walks out of the door, like, the way they directed it. it was yeah, it was crazy. really choppy and, like, backing up and forth. Yeah. A fourth, backing up and forth. <laughs> back and forth. Well, the way she walked back was hella weird. Yeah. You know? and, it um, made me have a little stroke, apparently. And, of, co- of course, Tony, as his character develops, takes what he sees in this dream and of course he overreacts and goes into sort of a self destruction destructive uh protection mode yeah and and she totally takes advantage of that yeah and it 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 plays to like his character also because if you really look at it it looks like he is at least from the funding side in charge of the avengers yeah he calls he, it out though he has a fucking satellite in the sky yeah right he that, just has permission somehow. And to he pl- thinks it's just good without any UN regulation, <laughs> army regulation, to create a world protecting AI. Yeah. Like, the, what the fuck? Think about putting a satellite into the sky. Yeah. Do you know how much To beat the Hulk. Yeah. Only to beat the Hulk. Or I don't know what else he was planning to use it for. I don't know if they called it Hulkbuster in the movie. <laughs> but it's like. What Veronica. the f- He can just, uh, he's allowed to just put that in the sky. I think it's like Mark 42 or something like that in yeah. the comic. Um, but yeah, think about it. He's just, imagine how many regulations that Elon Musk had to go through just to blow up a Facebook satellite. And Tony Stark has a fucking weapon in the sky as a private citizen. Like, yeah. Jesus Christ. It took Tesla more years to put a goddamn satellite, well, unsuccessfully try to put a satellite into the sky, and Tony Stark, you have to imagine it's only been like a year or two. Yeah. So does Tony just do whatever he wants, or is everybody just cool with Tony doing whatever he wants? Is everybody cool with it, or does he I, just do it regardless? Well, he has a fucking tissue-making machine. <laughs> that's right. Also, like, I mean, and I get that's, you know, that that wasn't even the point of Ultron, which came out of nowhere, right? That, yeah. That, the name Ultron and the whole program development was just, he was like, Tony was like, yo, it's Ultron. Yeah, you got yeah. it, Banner? I'm going to manipulate the fuck out of you the whole movie. You ready for it? Banner's, <laughs> Banner's just And like, Banner just looks like a cooped out fucking cranked out scientist. Right? Like, well, he's angry all the time. And think about every, his, so his way of speaking apparently is to whisper what his <laughs> disagreements with the plan and then just eventually do it. <laughs> oh, we also forgot Tony has a fucking Iron Legion already. Yeah, he's created... And the Sokovians hate hate it. So did three... Yeah, so apparently he's built... Not only was he like, fuck it, I'm just bringing the Iron Man suit back from Iron Man 3, but he was like, you know what else I'm going to do? I'm going to build drones because those worked out so fucking well for me in <laughs> Iron Man 2. Shitty drones. Shitty they drones. get beat up. They get know? beat up. And eventually, what happens? They get taken over by Ultron. <laughs> just like in Iron Man 2. Yeah. What the fuck? Yeah. Like, did he not learn And it's not him lesson? running it. No. It's, it's Jarvis. Jarvis, which is his cool. His butt buddy. It's cool, all right. It's his butt buddy, which he has to create, <laughs> which you'll see in this movie he has to create to have his relationship with. Well, I wonder for Tony's sake if, if Ultron can make a hologram dick like his cape. You mean, um... Vision? That's a hologram. Vision? Oh, what did I, who did I say? Ultron? Ultron? Yeah, well, Ultron, Ultron maybe he has a dick, too. Well, he if, comes out with the Jeff Wilson Vision can hologram dick. a dick... I yeah. think Tony'd be happy. Dude. Um, <laughs> yeah. 
It would actually be a red rocket. And, uh, <laughs> or purple or what, I you know, it, whatever fucking lavender, like, dreams this dude's having. Uh, but, uh, yeah, and anyways, fuck Vision. So, uh, <laughs> Vision sucks. And as, as they're driving, as they're driving, as they're flying to Tony's lair, where the Avengers are being <laughs> taken evil. care of. Because he is a mad scientist. <laughs> and they sort of make his, as he's staring at the stone, and Thor's like, this shit's over. Chitauri's done. We have the scepter. It's over, right? Tony's looking at this stone like they give this like he has this sort of evil tint yeah, to he him. Knows. Like, <laughs> and he's immediately make Ultron. Yeah, you know? <laughs> he immediately tells Thor too. He's like, "Hey, I need to take this to my lab by myself. <laughs> um, can you just forget that you ever had it for a second? And what makes him think that like he can't just bring this up to the team? And maybe it's the team against him because they always think he's an asshole. Well, he but is. what makes him think that he can't just hey look? Should we try this? Because guys, I threw a nuke. Into an alien planet that would have killed us. Right? I need. I'm tripping the fuck out. He Help is. me out. He's the you know? only dude besides Thor to have literally fucking been in a different universe or a galaxy or whatever. Yeah. And what he saw on his trip out was some fucked up shit. He yeah. had to throw a goddamn bomb at it. <laughs> a nuclear a bomb. A nuclear bomb. That was so fucked up. He had to throw a nuclear <laughs> bomb. The fucking. Which was the throw of the year. <laughs> <laughs> well, wouldn't it yeah. be cooler if his like. Hands came off like in the third one, just carried it. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so as they get to his semi evil lair, um, you know, Cap, uh, they, 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 you know, they, Tony finally acknowledges that Cap is the leader. Like, as yeah. Maria Hill comes in, they're like, So who do I talk to about the briefing here? And Tony's like, Him, but you know, I just fund us and make us look cool, you fucking son of a bitch. <laughs> yeah. Like, and Cap doesn't, <laughs> Cap brushes it off. Yeah, and he's like, like, turns and he's like, What's the situation? He's like, I need to know, I'm at war. And then, and then he has this philosophical genius moment that Cap always has where he talks about the, the Sokovians to America. Yeah. yeah. And that was great. And then they, they, you know, they, they show the tissue making machine. And I like um, how he compares himself to the twins, not to cut you off. But oh, I like no, how yeah. he says, Basically, look, I mean, I was in a state of battle where I did, I got enhanced specifically to fight my country, and that's what, you know, it makes sense to me why they're doing it. Yeah. And that's really interesting for Cap, because you don't see that in a lot of these movies where the character identifies personally with the yeah. en- supposed enemy. And and where he's not so hard-headed that he doesn't listen to anybody. Yeah. Cap actually will listen to your opinion and fill you out. It's what makes sort of like a cop, which I don't like to compare to. I mean, he is the police of the Avengers. He <laughs> goes around, he busts language, language. He busts language. He's the language police. He busted Shield. Yeah. He busts Tony's bullshit. <laughs> like he tries to bust everything, and yeah. it, and at the same time, he on the side is hiding one of the biggest secrets of all: is that he's looking for the fucking Winter Soldier because he allowed him to escape. And he's yeah. trying to save him. Yeah. So Cap But is something little... he keeps on the low, which Cap doesn't normally do. No, well... You know? But I a mean, first friend, Bucky, you know. It's his friend. He <laughs> saved him from that dude at the theater, and that's all you have to connect them with. <laughs> yeah. And that's enough. As he popped up, too. Right? Yeah. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, so they, 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 get to, they show the tissue-making machine, and uh, they all think it's over. They're about to have this, this party, and the, they, we meet this Korean girl. I can't think of her. Uh, uh, Dr. Chu, and she's like... She's like He's like, you gonna go to the party? And she's like, well, will Thor be there? Because I want to suck his cock. <laughs> you know, and uh, at this point, just to talk about the movie for once, uh, the dialogue is really like, it, it's highbrow and it's yeah. funny. And everything with the dialogue, yes, there's a lot of exposition, but the way they do it, it, it actually furthers along the plot and not this way where you're like, oh God, we gotta hear this whole bullshit yeah. exposition. Like when they're explaining the tissue making machine, they don't yeah. necessarily relate it to being able to make a fake body. They're just like, dude, this can heal his wound. If yeah. you came to my lab, dude, the shit we got there could heal this shit in seconds. Yeah. Like it's basically, it, it is exposition. It is setting up the lab, but at the same time, it's serving the purpose of healing Hawkeye. Yeah. And so that's really cool, and I, I don't know. In the dialogue of this one, I feel like it is highbrow, but it's also rapid fire. Yeah, which it's again, funny. It's I think yeah. it's I personally think it's funnier than the first Avengers. And they rely sure. a lot more on facial expressions in this one. Yeah, well, all of Thor's and Cap's uh, <laughs> brotherhood relationship they got is all facial expressions. Yeah, they know what each other's are think what each other is thinking just off their face. Yeah, and uh, that's the that's the thing too is like the Avengers are clicky. Okay. Yeah, they do uh, have this weird relationship where no one, 
Like, there's no three people groups. Yeah. It's all little groups of two. Yeah. Everybody only likes one other person. Yeah. And, the and other Thor, per- Thor doesn't like Iron Man, really. I mean, uh, he doesn't really not like Iron Man. He's just kind of like, dude. He's over it. Yeah, he. I don't really relate to you. You're kind of an asshole. Oh, come on. Use your words, buddy. I have more than enough <laughs> words to describe you, Stark. Thor, the Legionnaire. Well, imagine. He's from a planet where if you're really conniving like that, you're going to get fucked. They're still yeah. a warrior race. Not like humans who just allow Tony to do his bullshit until apparently it fucks everyone over multiple times. Yeah. So Thor probably wants to kill him. And it's also really cheeky, too. Like, even in the midst of the action or the tension, there's they throw in something small, like like uh, Scarlett Johansson driving on the bike. And she's like, beep, beep. Oh, you yeah. Know, like all that stupid shit. I thought, I, I actually uh, really like that. And Or when he asks where they are in the last scene, he's like, you and Banner playing hide the zucchini? Yeah. Like, he makes a big dick Hulk joke. And also, that's a weird little connection you see in this party scene, and you see a little long before where now Scarlett um, Johansson, a.k.a. Black Widow. I'm going to get confused. <laughs> AKA, between... as if that's shorter. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to get confused. Just hear me out if I get confused on Scarlett Witch and Scarlett Johansson. Yeah. But, so when you see her, apparently she just hopped off. Cap's dick, because Cap wasn't hagging the nut. He wanted to see Peggy's old No, days. I don't know if she... <laughs> but she's sick now. She's with, sick you now. Know, so he, She's got the cancers and, or something. Um, she has Alzheimer's. Alzheimer's. Yeah. Oh, shit. So she can't remember Cap. And she probably has so many liver spots, you couldn't tell what the nibble was. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I think Black Widow always wanted to fuck Cap, but I don't think she felt she was worthy to fuck Cap, as she knows he's just a genuinely good guy and she's this monster. That's why I think, you know, not to jump the pot, but she she attaches to Hulk because Hulk is this damaged guy. Bruce and, Banner's this damaged guy who thinks he's a monster, and she also thinks the same way. She was bred to be an assassin. Yeah, and you or, see that you, or, in not her a, or not an assassin, whatever. Uh, maybe an assassin. Yeah, I, don't know. I mean, a it was an machine. assassin. Yeah, she was bred to be a KGB assassin, yeah. essentially. Yeah, and um, and so they have her little like, oh, it's it's bedtime, partner. Like, yeah. you ready to go swing? The lullaby. The lullaby. Like, and she's just like, I didn't get that. Where did that know. come from? That <laughs> was forced. You know, like I didn't mind the love story part as that could connect, especially off off the dreams that they were getting. Not, I mean, the nightmares from Scarlet Witch, but the whole lullaby thing just started in the beginning. So where the yeah. fuck did that come from? Uh, well, that they was show a they're um, setting up countermeasures. Yeah, for the Hulk eventually coming out. You see it with Veronica and her. Yeah, load, essentially. But giving... why? But where did that come from with her? Is what I'm saying. Well, the Hulk was like, "Hey, man, the best way to calm me down is give me a good old hand job." And so they pick the, the old best, fashioned. From, the from old fashioned. Let me see a titty. Give me a hand job, and I'll well, knock the fuck or out. Or she can just hop on him and scissor him in his mouth, and he, you know. <laughs> I don't but think he likes that. I that think makes he does. him angry. I don't, maybe not. Um, and uh, you know, so they have this party scene, which I think is great. You just get to see the superheroes kick it. Yeah. Like they're just literally kicking it, and you know. Falcon's there, and he's like, yeah, I'll be a fucking patrolman. I don't give a shit. And yeah, and at first I thought he meant just, like, I'm going to go on these patrol missions, and then I realized, like, by the fifth watch, that's how dense this movie is, by, like, the eighth watch through, I'm like, oh, shit. He basically told Cap, like, I'm cool looking for Bucky. Yeah. Like, he's like, I'm good going on our missing persons case. Yeah. I never caught that one. I don't mind the traffic stops. You can handle sa- saving the world. Yeah. And it's, and it's in, in contrast to another black superhero in this movie, um, War Machine. Light wants the limelight. He yeah. wants to be known as the superhero. He just kind of sucks. And he obviously doesn't understand the world. And he Because he's <laughs> like, he doesn't understand that they're in a comic book movie. Yeah. Because everything to him Does is this he, huge though? surprise. Do, because I, he hasn't, he's, he's the only... always, okay, all I gotta say is he's always that guy that when something new that comes out of the comic book comes into the movie, he's always the guy that's like, what? Yeah. Like, like why is he always that fucking guy? And I, you see it with Vision, he's like, what the fuck is this dude doing and and in contrast you see falcon he's like all right that's kind of crazy let's fight bitch and roadie <laughs> roadie might be the only person who thinks he has an actual alter ego because yeah. he keeps calling it like war machine stories yeah like like he's not war machine everybody no one is trying to hide who they are except for maybe yeah. like well you see later on like maybe you know a couple here well, well like i said black widow to me is trying to get away from herself like as as you can kind of see it in this movie black widow is sort of as coming from Winter Soldier, she's sort of over the spy life. She wants this real relationship, this real life um, yeah. 
So, like I said, so, so she attaches to Hulk because I think she's just sort of done. And that's where you and, get the weird, like... But it's 50s. funny, too, because she tries to leave. She's like, let's go. And yeah. Hulk's like, I can't. Look, I got green nuclear semen that comes out my body. It'll turn you into She-Hulk, Olger <laughs> Shrek, and you're going to fucking... <laughs> you're you're going to be scissoring people and actually killing them. <laughs> and, uh... Yeah, and, he and, just shoots her down. And, and, and... At the end of the movie, when he goes to save her as a coward, yeah, super he's sort coward of like, move. I can't fight anymore. I can't yeah, be like, around people. I don't Even get though that. I'll have you and you can lullaby me anytime, but I'm fucking, I can't be around people. And she even sort of looks at him like, are you a fucking idiot? Like, I don't need you. I, I don't need your bitch ass. I need the Hulk. No, she and just right, fucking kicks him in the fuck. He has such a weird fucking view in this whole fucking movie. He's basically like, I'm going to be... Okay, I, you need me, and I'm willing to be Hulk, but also I don't want to hurt people. And the last scene, he's like, I don't want to be Hulk to not hurt people. It's like, dude, if you're not Hulk, everyone's dead. <laughs> like, and so what? And you're, yeah, you're, what is? Yeah, what's he gonna do? Yeah, of course he'll live. Probably. Probably him and Vision will be cool, and they'll just dance around in the twilight, or some uh, stupid shit. And and uh, that's what makes it funny too, because Cap adds into the to the Scarlett Johansson. Hulk thing at, in the in the party scene. He just goes up to Hulk. He's like, "Hey man, I could have fucked her first. <laughs> yeah, so he does, and that's you after need to you dig have, into that, buddy. <laughs> yeah, that's after you have this weird like '50s bartender lingo yeah. conversation. And as them. if Cap couldn't just have one night, one coke filled night, <laughs> fucking ninety girls who'd all want to fuck Cap all at once. <sighs> what do you think I've been doing? He can't because apparently the thousand like can he do coke because that thousand year old liquor that Thor has that's supposed to get like paralyze old. Well, he puts uh veterans. He yeah, puts he puts it in his drink and he's cool. <laughs> he actually puts Stanley in cardiac arrest. Yeah, this time he literally does, and a couple of them are literally frozen, like just standing still, frozen. <laughs> and Cap drinks that, and he's not even drunk. Yeah. So cocaine. He, I mean, he would literally have to do like a fucking Scarface sized mountain of cocaine. Yeah. He'd have to awesome. do like. 20 minutes straight of, of beer bong <laughs> beer bong hits to his butthole and he'd probably still be fine. Yeah. You know? And what's um, funny too is he even shouts out his virginness. He's like, coming from the authority of waiting too long. Like, I've never had my pee pee touched. If you ever want to deep here though, let me know. <laughs> yeah. He's like, hey, I could have had her. I've seen her flirt up close. I mean, I was waiting for Peggy, but she's old now. And I'm a man. She's still got some good tits. They're just old and pruny. Yeah, they are saggy, but they're nice. If I like that kind of shit. Uh, and then, you know, that's when uh, the Ultron and Jarvis have the fucking internet interface fight. And Worst fuck. fucking... That's, the, like, one of the worst scenes in the movie. And then Ultron appears in the party after uh, the the hammer grab, which is one of my favorite scenes when everyone's <laughs> yeah. trying to grab the hammer. Because you, like I said, through Cap's faces... And his expressions, Hulk is genuinely scared. Or not Hulk, excuse me. I always <laughs> fucking mix that up. Thor is actually genuinely worried that he's going to pull that fucking hammer. Yeah, he has this little expression like, oh, shit. And then he lets go and he's like, whew, okay, cool, yeah. I'm still gone. he starts gone. laughing he's like, ha, ha, ha. <laughs> and, uh, and Thor is sort of a dick. Yeah. So it shows that he doesn't really fuck with the Avengers. He's just like, especially, you know, to jump the plot a little, he... he when he gets his mind taken over, he's like, you mortals might want to watch out for the witch, but I am mighty. Yeah. Like, he basically puts them on a second class, even though it fucking affects him. <laughs> he never goes back and was like, hey, man, my bad for calling y'all bitches. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, and that's when Ultron shows up. In the, in the, Ultron's intro is a little rushed, but I actually did sort of like it because Tony invent, invents him to be this protection program. And as he's going through all of the information, he, Ultron, takes it as, all right, these people that are trying to make peace are the people that create war. They create yeah. weapons for war. Um, and it shocks him. I think it genuinely shocks him. Yeah, and he, and I think because of Jarvis, and he sees what power Jarvis has, he, he, he starts getting scared, like, oh, shit, well, who are you motherfuckers? Yeah. You know? And as he goes through it, he realizes these people that claim peace are actually war makers. I and think he, so. He loses his shit. Um, so does he know like what we've been assuming is that th since the beginning of the Avengers, they've literally caused all their own problems. Yeah. And just since Iron Man. Yeah. And even Vision sort of shouts it out. Yeah. Um, in Civil War. In Civil War, yeah. Yeah. 
But uh, yeah, so they they have this actually pretty cool fight with just three Iron yeah. Legions. <laughs> I thought that was pretty cool. Um, that was, and then and, especially Stark because it shows him he's in that phase now too where he's like, dude, I don't really need the Iron Man suit. Yeah. So he jumps on one of them and just fucking like elbows a goddamn wrench into its neck and it yeah. just crashes. Yeah. Like that shit was sick. And and then you know it, it's it's figured out that Tony created this and obviously Thor almost fucking choke slams him right yeah. and uh and Cap Th- stops him. I like what Tony says though as as he defends himself. He's sort of like, hey, look, motherfuckers, y'all didn't see what I saw. We're gonna lose. We yeah. don't have a chance against these motherfuckers, which is sort of weird considering you're talking to Thor. Thor and you know you are he's the Odin's number, son. Yeah, <laughs> like, you are the number one's weapons weapon maker in the world. You can't you can't make missiles to defend the. You have to go yeah. crazy. Yeah, you can't just make missiles. Yeah, and so you know he he he's basically saying like I'm worried. I want us. What I wanted for us was to stop fighting and have someone fight for us because, as you can see with Tony and a lot of the movies, is that when the odds aren't stacked in his favor, he's kind of he's just a coward. He get yeah. he cowards up. He does, and it, he, it, he it, sort of loses his shit to the point where the only thing he sees in front of him is is how to fucking protect himself. Yeah. Like himself. Yeah. He says it's for everyone else, but I don't think it really is. <sighs> yeah, I get what you mean. Uh, but I also sort of think it, him and Pepper were going through problems yeah. at this time as they eventually show the conclusion of that in Civil War. But I think at this point, Pepper and him were having problems, and he was trying to get rid of being an Avenger so he could be the family man. As you see at the end, he says, you know, I, you know, maybe I'll Hawkeye it, put yeah. my bitch on a farm. Yeah. So she won't have to be, you know, pulling in Johns anymore. You create the farm for his main bitches, just like a real pimp does. A real staple. A real staple. He'll the, the ranch. Uh, and he'll so, be like, the clients come to us now. <laughs> Protection. But, yeah, anyway, so seriously, they, they actually figure out, you know, that Ultron's been through everything, all the information, and... Uh, and they're killed. worried that he'll get nuclear codes or yeah. whatever. And um, they find out Jarvis is just done. Yeah. Like, he murdered him. Yeah. And um, so, yeah, they, they get that, and now they're, they're <laughs> Cap has this great speech. It's like, this is a big world. Let's start making it smaller. And they go in the for <laughs> Ultron. Yeah. And, uh, and Ultron. Just Cap developing is, to me, the whole development with Cap in this movie is how to lead the Avengers. As in the first Avengers... They had a bunch of problems, and at the end, he started figuring out how to lead them in the battlefield. Now he's just leading them in general. Yeah, and that's um, sort of shared with Hawkeye. Yeah. Because Hawkeye now has become this... Well, Hawkeye, you know... He's like he, the vet. Yeah. He's the Ray Allen, you know? he He's just a good shooter, <laughs> and he's going to be there forever and consistent. Well, he's you know? definitely and, a good fucking shooter. Yeah. I played golf once. And at this point, Ultron is getting... Um, he's recruiting... Scarlet Witch and Quicksilver. Yeah, which is a great um, scene because yes, I do he really basically like that scene. breaks down to them. He's like, dude, you guys, you know, can help me. I'll help you get Stark. You can help me get Stark. Yeah. And even they're like, dude, why don't you want to kill him? And Ultron he makes a good it. point. He's yeah. like, that would make them martyrs. And his goal, and where I think people misinterpret his goal in the movie, is that his goal necessarily to me wasn't destroying the world initially. He was planning to rule the world. He wanted yeah. to destroy the Avengers so, quote-unquote, to him, the world can evolve because the Avengers are stopping the world from changing. And yeah. to, In his opinion, the world needs to change and evolve, and that'll come through peace. And like you said, the cream rise to the top. That'll happen as me as ruler. And I had this and, thought with him, too. Yeah. Um, and he does give off that vibe. I even think when you look at... The end when he just really loses his shit. Yeah, and he even says, "Dude, I I don't want to do this." Like, I, you're you're misinterpreting. He's like, humanity needs to evolve. When he sees the meteor, I don't think he's necessarily saying, "I'm going to meteor the Earth." He's saying that every once in a while, God throws a stone, and he's like winding up. I think he's foreseeing the aliens deeper than even Tony Stark is. He's like, that's why humanity needs to evolve. He's like, because if we keep having the Avengers, we're going to get fucked with eventually. Hmm. But he comes from the alien technology, though. Yeah. So even more of a reason to fear them. Okay. Because he truly uh, well, understands. Well, I mean, he, feels Jar- he fears Jarvis, though. And that's what's my question is, whose technology is really better? Ours or the aliens? Yeah. Because if Jarvis is really the strongest one, 
Yeah, and Jarvis isn't even made out of the Infinity Stone. Yeah. Because technically that is the feed or the whatever, the brain inside of the yeah. Infinity Stone. Well, and, he, and Ultron also feels that the Avengers aren't a very harmonious team. They're discombobulated. And that's another reason why they can't be leaders of the world is because they're not they're not cohesive together. Yeah. Um, yeah, and they cause more problems than they do good. That's a and, good point. And, uh, you know, so Ultron kills Strucker. Uh, and I, I really sort of like this scene is because he cleared all the records about killing Strucker and the Avengers go into investigation mode. Oh, God. <laughs> like, and tell me this is not the most convenient way of finding okay. something out. Because right. so... This is what I don't get. I get how Ultron would be there because he knows everything. He, if he if there's data on it, he can find it. Yeah. How the fuck did the Avengers know to go the thief? It literally is a scene of them like, okay, these are files of people that struck her new. Yeah. Hey, I recognize that guy. Yeah. Okay, let's look at the symbol on his neck. Wait, he stole the fucking, um, what is it, vibranium? Vibranium, yeah. Okay, well, that's where Ultron's going to be. <laughs> Like they that's didn't, true. There's no evidence. And they to find connect. him in the, and they just find him as if he is not a black arms dealer. So I don't know how they just fi- found him. Yeah. You know, and uh, <laughs> they found him in the Wakandan mines. And, the Wakandan uh, mines. Or fucking the, the boat, boat of the Wakandans, or I don't know what the fuck he was. I doing. don't know where they. It were. was a very big boat. It was a boat with a lot of um, people in it, and they looked like they were mining boat guns. And which I sort of like, is they cut to the boat, right? And this is, you know, we're we're thinking the Avengers are coming to this guy, and it's really Scarlet Witch and Quicksilver, right? Yeah. And Ulysses, his name's Ulysses. I actually looked this up. No. His, <laughs> his name's Ulysses, and he was like, "Hey, look, you guys think you're cool and hard asses because you got these powers." You're about to be sold like slaves, you punk bitches. Yeah, he basically and, tells and them even that. they even look at each other like, oh. what is he like? The first ever enhanced on the black market. Yeah, like y- you guys are about to. And be Ulysses that. was like, I was gonna lick your tit sweat when you were getting worked on. That Scarlet would, Witch, and then dude, that would explain. That makes sense now. That would explain why Strucker didn't want them to fight. Oh, he and wanted to he... save them because they're bought. I mean, they'd probably be worth like bills. Yeah, like like that's probably why he didn't care about the scepter. Right? He's like, all right. I'll give it up to the fucking Avengers. I'm going to take these fools and sell them. Yeah. And I'll be cool. And then they show, you know, the whole scene where Ultron gets, is very humanistic and he's just angry. He's filled with rage, right? Because as soon as, what's his name says, he said a Stark line, Ultron fucking loses it. Yeah. And I like the way he loses it. People are all saying about this movie. That's why I don't get the hate on this movie. People say like, he wasn't menacing it enough. It's like, how that is a crazy human. If a crazy human did what he did to Ulysses, that would be fucking weird. Yeah, that would freak people out. Like, like that dude has no, like his temper goes from zero to a hundred real quick, and then back to zero where he's really like when he cuts yeah. the dude's arm off, he's like, he cuts oh. his arm, and then he turns around, and sees the Avengers, and he makes a fucking joke. Yeah, but not only that, when he cuts the dude's arms off, he's like, oh, that'll be okay, right? Yeah, my bad. <laughs> my Whoops. <laughs> Like, people can just grow arms back. Yeah, and, and the the whole fight... So the Avengers show up, and they fight, and that, that scene's really cool. Um, I really like... I mean, Quicksilver, the whole movie, grew on me. He To me, he's sort of like that pot-smoking third child that parents don't care about. <laughs> right? Yeah, he just sort of doesn't give a shit, and he he's sort a of an asshole. He has tracksuit on. He's wearing a tracksuit to a fight. And what I like what they do with Quicksilver... He gets fucking tired. They show yeah. him get tired from running fast, but he's also, which would make fucking sense, yeah. right? And they cut in and out of it being slow and fast, and yeah. it shows his perspective than what the hero's perspective would be of them fighting him. Yeah. Which it doesn't, you know, in other um, ways of portraying Quicksilver, they don't always do very well. Yeah. So his scenes easily might have been the strongest. I think they're, I mean, they're cool. Yeah. I mean, he just socks the shit out of Cap. Like, yeah. Socks dude, the that was shit awesome. out. And then... Cap, of course, comes back because he's the greatest with the shield bump. <laughs> and, and and he's like, stay down, kid. And it's like, where does this, like, okay, dude, you were in the ice for seven years. Did that mean you aged at all? Because where do you get this old man fucking mentality from Well, according when you're to probably him, as young as Quicksilver? Yeah, according to him, though, at the end of the movie, the, the, the child that wanted a wife and kids died in the ice and out came this new old man. Like, that's yeah. pretty much what's going on with him. Yeah. He's uh, he's an old man. <laughs> and he even sounds like an old man when he looks at Fury. He's like, Fury, you son of a bitch. <laughs> and then uh, <laughs> during all the fighting, 
uh, Scarlet Witch puts her red orgasm nightmare fucking cuckoo juice, thing yeah. Yeah, in their in their mind. Her and, juice squirt. And uh, I like Thor's. He, like you said, it Thor. He's, he's like, he's like, yeah, puny humans can't take that, but I luckily I am mighty. Yeah, and, and he then just fucking, steps into it. And then goddamn Stringer Bell shows up, and he's like, <laughs> I've been in economics too long. He's like, this. You business. killed me, Thor. He's like, I can see the business. I can see it crashing. Luther will fail in his season. Avon's gonna kill me. And uh, I thought actually really liked the way they were directed, and sort of as a viewer, it, it kind of discombobulates your mind a little bit. Yeah, sort of, it, it it jumps. It takes you away from the movie, but like in a good way. Dude, Scar- Scarlet Witch. Like, don't get me wrong, Cap's menacing because of like the thought behind it. And you brought this up to me. It's like the future he should have had. Yeah. But with Natasha, it's Natasha, a, it's a that flashback. was some sick shit. Yeah, I liked the. It was like this deranged. Yeah. Um, and the the angles on it were crazy. And uh, it, you could, with her especially, you could tell it just fucks her up. Yeah. Right? Like, just really fucks her up. That's and what's on her mind, apparently, all the time. Yeah. Is that she was raised to be a murderer. Yeah. And she's a superhero now. Yeah. Not killing. And she got her tubes tied, too. Yeah. That's that. <laughs> and, uh, it makes it easier. Or her tubes cut off. I don't, I don't know. What, I don't know what, what they said. did. That one dude looked like a pervert, though, and for whatever reason, he really wanted to chokehold her. Yeah. And she was okay with it. She let herself And, and that was their plan, right? Because Ultron said he wanted to start some shit, and basically he said, all right, while well, I start some shit, Scarlet Witch, take them from the inside and make them fuck themselves over. Yeah. You know? Uh, and then, so Scarlet Witch goes to fuck with Hulk, and Hulk loses his shit in an African city... I don't. Is that Wakanda? I, I don't see, know. I don't think it was South Africa or something. I don't know. Like but he, it, it's my theory is that. And, and he, of course, Marvel chooses an African city. Yeah, right? they have <laughs> to. They have to kill black people apparently. Because Asia, they did it too many times, and people were complaining. <laughs> yeah, and, they're like, well, okay, who who does the world care about less? Oh, there we go. Um, and Africa, and Africa, you know, is used a lot in this movie apparently, and in future movies, they have Wakanda and that sort of racist. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. And oh, but my thought, but the, to get the, back to Hulk, my yeah. thought is when he gets, like, knocked out, quote-unquote, yeah, by Scarlet Witch, he actually goes dummy stupid like <laughs> like Hulk. Yeah. Like, that's when he's his most fucking Hulkish. Yeah. Until the end when he starts snapping out of it and he has the, huh? Yeah. He has a, a fucking uh, roadie moment. Oh, what's going on? Yeah. But as Hulk. And I love that. Hulk Hulkbuster scene. Oh, I mean, dude. The, again, one of those scenes that make you respect how good the CGI is. Yeah. Like, the CGI was crazy good. And, uh, you know, Hulk, you could really see that th- this is, like, the best kind of action for Hulk. Him fucking shit up, basically. Him fucking shit up and fighting someone his own size. Now, yes. they tried to do it. I mentioned this in um, The Incredible Hulk. Yeah. That... Uh, it seems like when they do it right, that CGI is better Yes. when fighting CGI. This is a case of doing it right. And I might even have to correct myself because I did say that. Why do they have to throw big guy at big guy? Yeah. In this one... It they, looks great, though. It looks great. Yeah. Maybe I was just mad because they fucked it up well, so Well, and, and also, Iron, Tony's not trying to hurt Hulk. Or people, apparently. And even show. Hulk thinks, Bru- think, thinks Bruce Banner's a bitch. Yeah. So... Uh, <laughs> Right? I yeah. like when he, um, it shows, though, that this is the first time that Tony really goes into accountability mode. He's like, yes. oh, shit. True. Okay, let me take him to a place that's uninhabited. I'll drop him in. He could do a thermal scan in yeah. one second. Yeah, a therm- <laughs> he has incredible thermal scan ability, which he uses multiple times in this. Yeah. And then he's like, well, fuck, I got hell of money. I guess I'll just buy an abandoned building and fuck it up. And I'll shoot missiles at the exact spot it needs to crumble. Yeah. So was Tony Stark, would he debunk any 9-11 conspiracy theory? Because he seems to know how to fucking blow up a building pretty well. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 9-11 was caused by Iron Man, bro. <laughs> and uh, so, yeah, they 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 get Hulk and they leave. Or I, apparently, out of all the other times he hit him, Hulkbuster just had to get him with a good one-two. To knock him out. Yeah. And so they get on the ship, and at this point, while they're on the ship, and they're looking for a place to go, as Hawkeye is the only one that knows how to fly, apparently. Where are they getting all this fuel I from? I think Tony does. And they... <laughs> Tony. He yeah. funds everything, remember? Right, but they're on the run after yeah. this, so yeah. somehow they managed to continue refueling a small yeah, jet. Yeah, it was weird. And so at this point, though, in the ship, they're... I mean, this is the first time, like I said, a lot of this movie, there's so much... There's To me, there's so much more weight and tension in this movie than the first one. Yeah. Because... At this point in the ship, you see it. They are actually like mentally fucked up, yeah. which is way 
for how strong a lot of the characters are, that's a better depiction to me than saying a guy like Loki is fucking them up. Yeah. Right? Uh, because it shows them stressed and just defeated. Yes. And you see it with all of them. Like, all yes. of them are defeated, especially Banner, because he couldn't fucking control it. He was yeah. even probably clapped hell of people. Yeah. And they even say, you know, dude, you guys might get fucking arrested for this. Yeah. Like, you guys fucked up. That's true. And uh, so they go to Hawkeye's stash house, where he keeps all his meth. Because <laughs> he's secretly a meth dealer. That's how he gets money to take care of his kids. Dude, look at that. And, uh, look at his... He dresses sort of like a fucking meth dealer, bro. Like, when he gets out, he just starts wearing flannel and jeans, like, doing well, fucking... Well, that's Nick why he, he was trying to fuck with Quicksilver, because he was like, man, I can make a shitload of money having Quicksilver <laughs> sell my drugs. Yeah. He's like, that's... You're talking about a drug runner. Jesus, that is the ultimate drug runner. <laughs> He's like, that motherfucker will never get caught. And, uh... Mex- and... <laughs> Mex kill him back in one day. And I... I, I like, a, some of this movie, apparently, they wanted to show a lot of Avengers downtime. Yeah, Do you a see lot. The, you see the downtime at... at the, the stash house and uh <laughs> and that's when Black Widow comes on really strong to Hulk. Yeah. You know? And and Bruce She's basically and, like I wanna fucking like Bruce I'll... Banner's like, dude, I can't give you my radioactive semen and, and she's like, like, Well dude, I don't even have a vagina. They just took it out and <laughs> Dude, and even he's like, dude, you don't you realize that he wasn't joking when he said zucchini. Like this will destroy you, you dummy. <laughs> yeah. And she's like, I don't even care. I just wanted to be in the shower. I used to only fuck black guys. Now I need the Hulk. Right, and and twice in like one in one conversation, she goes like really sexually hard at him. She talks about getting in the shower with him, and then she basically talks about like, well, dude, I can't have kids, so let's just bang it out. Yeah, and and, and mentally they they look <laughs> mentally they look it, it it explains a lot too because like I said, it's this it's this tied in theme that Black Widow thinks she's a monster, Hulk thinks he's a monster. And, you know, that that's what connects them, essentially, because they're torn. They're very torn. And everybody's people. a little stressed at this point. Yeah, and you see in, in, with the wood piling scene. Um, which is fucking, great. Which, Cap yeah, apparently, destroys that piece of wood. And Cap's, like you said, like I said, I don't really get where Iron Man and Cap were ever fucking friends. And never, never I never once. get it. Because Cap always sort of with Iron Man is like, dude, whenever... Wherever, bitch. We let's go. Yeah, let's I'll throw fuck down. you up. What's like, so cool about that is he rips the wood in half and immediately calms down and yeah. goes back to what he was doing. Yeah, and, and Iron Man kind of calls him out. He's like, dude, I don't trust anybody without a dark side. And he, dude, and Man. he threatens him. He's like, you'll see my fucking dark side. You keep pushing this shit. Yeah, and then, um, of course, be, while they're trying to save the world, uh, Hawkeye's wife needs her John Deere fixed <laughs> for convenience. And to tells, outcome to the t- fury Pep talk of the week. Dun, 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 dun. Dun, 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 dun. Yeah, he comes out like, dude, and something's getting even more fucked up with his eye. Apparently, they decided to draw more lines coming out of that rotten piece of shit. (laughs) And he even hints at his own, he's making fun of his own eye half the time. He's like, look me in my eye and tell me you're not a homosexual for Jarvis. Yeah, and he basically... (laughs) He basically and, sucks Tony off and sort of scolds him at the same time. He's like, you dummy. Tony, I care about you, but you're a fucking idiot. He and, does say that. He's like, you dummy. And Tony, it's like, how egotistical is he? He knows everyone's going through these dreams. He even calls out Cap for not dealing with any shit. And Iron Man doesn't take it as, oh, this just this fucked up nightmare. Iron Man's like, I know it. I saw it. It's going to happen because I'm Iron Man. I don't get tricked like that. I just see things and I know it's going to happen. Yeah, right. and even fucking Fury, like, who was the original dude who was tripping, was like, bro, yeah. you need to calm down. Yeah. He's like, we need to approach this a little better than you have been, <laughs> because what you've been doing is fucking crazy. And then, so they go back in the house. And, and Fury starts cooking for him. Yeah, starts cooking for him and giving them <laughs> useless, overgeneralized details that don't help them at all. Even Scarlet Witch, or even Black Widow's like, dude, did you come here to help us or just fucking piss us off? Like, yeah, he's basically telling me, he's like, hey, the whole world's hey, mad at you right now. Hey, Ultron's, Ultron's multiplying faster than a Catholic rabbit. <laughs> yeah. He's like, also, <laughs> Hawkeye, don't say a goddamn word this whole scene. Like, <laughs> which he doesn't until he's throwing the dart. He doesn't even say it when he throws the dart, like, past Tony's hand. He just looks yeah. at him, he's like, huh. Like, I'm Hawkeye. I can throw darts, motherfucker. Yeah, and at this point, uh, Ultron is trying to get the tissue machine from the Korean. Oh, God, and, uh, and another way and they, they fucking, find out. The way they fucking, they're at the table trying to figure it out, what, what Ultron's next move are move is as, hint, 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 nuclear codes are being protected by somebody. Mm, I wonder who. Yeah. And, um, and uh, 
Bruce Banner's like, has anyone been in contact with Mrs. Chu? Yeah, and the way he says it in this is even funnier. With this fucking funnier. autistic kid drawn butterfly. <laughs> Dude, and that butterfly looks like He's like, like he shit. wants to evolve. He wants I to. I know this because I'm looking at this picture. <laughs> you know, this picture was handed to me. And, and apparently I know, like, he, that's what's weird. This is the second time where someone just had a, pic- a picture. Yeah. Because mind you, the other time was a picture too where Tony was like, I know that guy. Um, where yeah. a picture is put in front of him and somehow they surmise all of his plans. Yeah. Like, what the fuck? Did they just drop the ball and, like, not know how and, to segue? And that's what was kind of cool, too, is, like, Hawkeye, even though he was brainwashed in Avengers 1, he was the only one not brainwashed in this movie. Yeah. That's why you got to love Marvel, dude. And and, and also, uh, we forgot to mention that Ultron got Vibranium from Ulysses. And yeah. he's using Vibranium with the tissue machine to make his android body. Which yeah. Which is <laughs> to be this all-powerful body with the vision, the vision stone, with the mind stone. The mind right? stone. Mind and, um, D- and what I don't get, know. too, about the whole um, Thor thing is, how did Thor just come to this conclusion? No, the Thor well, thing. Well, he, I had guess to, I'll he had to leave the stash house. Yeah, I'll he, he didn't agree with Hawkeye's drug dealing. Yeah, you know. he was cool. And he stepped on one of the, well, what really happened is he stepped on some drugs and he was like, I gotta get the fuck out of here before this guy claps me. No, um, one, they have the greatest Well, that's how scene. Hawkeye stashes it in his kids' Legos. He, exactly. <laughs> it's molded into the Legos. Um, no, they have this great scene where he steps on Legos, like makes a face at Cap. Cap makes a face at him. The <laughs> Thor makes like a face to himself, walks out. Basically, really doesn't say shit other than, like, I gotta go, dude. And yeah. Cap sits there after Thor leaves, like, reflects on Thor leaving, looks over, sort of reflects on his own shitty life that's yeah. going on right now, and then just sort of shrugs it off and walks away, like, I got work to do, man. Yeah. Like, oh my, that was the best scene ever, because it shows that Cap can fucking, in a minute and a half, make you think, like, a hundred different things without saying a word. Without saying a word. And then he figures it out, and he's like, all right, because it's Thor, it's good. Yeah, he's like, I because trust they, Thor. Because they're, 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 they're just good buds, you know? They're well, just good buds. He, and uh, and uh, that's when Thor goes into his magical Infinity Stone pool with fucking Selvik. Who doesn't apparently <laughs> die when lightning's being shot at him. As Thor's having an orgasm in the pool, he's like... Ugh. Even though... <laughs> Even though in Thor's vision it Why shows... Why is he having an orgasm thinking about Stringer Bell? It's my question. And I, I get it. The wire's that good. But... The, <laughs> you want to destroy Odinson. Yeah, he's doing a fucking backstroke in the Infinity Stone pool, and it's like... And it's like, he literally, at the end, jizzes out <laughs> lightning. And then just is like, I know what I need to do now. I've seen all the stones. Yeah. I've seen the mountaintop. I have been to the mountaintop. I see how good things can be. Yeah. And and at and at, at, at simultaneously, Ultron is uploading himself into the android android body, and sort of explains where he's coming from. Uh, Scarlet Witch and Scarlet Witch can now read him as he's uploading into Ultron. He can read his conscience, and she finds out what he really wants to do. And this is like is, I said, the scene where I think he may be like saying, "No, I'm trying to protect." Yeah, and he and he's basically saying, "Look, I got this backup plan for if anybody wants funk, I'm destroying the world," but. If you guys want to fuck with me, y'all will live. Yeah. Under my ruling. And maybe even a prediction, too, that the world might not be destroyed by him is why he's doing this. He's like, I need to evolve. I need the mind stone so that... Well, he he thinks he needs to evolve to stop somebody like Jarvis from getting in his way. Or Thanos, maybe, even. Yeah. Like, I need to evolve so that when this shit hits the fan, like, I have the mind stone, you know, and I'm powerful, I'm powerful enough to do it. Yeah. Which is crazy, because they do say that mortals can't possess the mind stone, so apparently... Ultron sort of fucking skirted the rules on that one. Yeah. And nobody even knew because they say in Guardians of the Galaxy, like, mortals would never be able to really touch an Infinity Stone like that. And Ultron's like, I will make a body with one in it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And, uh, uh, apparently, that's when Cap, apparently the Avengers go and get him and they don't need Tony Stark yeah. or Hulk to no. get Ultron. It's at just, the most crucial point of the movie, as they all know that if he gets in that body, it might be fucking over. Yeah, super so done. I, I don't really get that. in of course, oh, Cap is the greatest. Yeah, he, because he can take, without himself. a shield, yeah. takes on Ultron. And it shows him, like, at one point, because they keep cutting, obviously, like, in between scenes. And I think this is what, after he loses his shield. Yeah. Just shows him, like, trying to literally choke out Ultron from behind. Yeah. Like, that's going to fucking work against a robot with no lungs. <laughs> But he yeah. was fucking doing it. 
and they they so they they were that I really liked that highway scene and them retrieving the android body scene. And that it was did really make great. me chuckle when all the other Ultrons became jets. Yeah, on the phone because that looked ridiculous. Yeah. but it was awesome. So they they send the android body to to Stark. And of course, you know, you can already see Stark twiddling his hands and fucking the greatest scene to me with Cap is they show this train scene where he fights Ultron and then Ultron like sort of fucks up the train and it gets off the tracks and it runs into the city and Cap sort of just sends Quicksilver to go save all these people. So yeah. Quicksilver is like saving hella people in front of the tra- in front of the train. Cap sticks his shield out to save himself from hitting the walls and Scarlet Witch is trying to stop the wheels with her red orgasm. Yeah, and like then, I really thought that was a really cool scene. I it thought, was goofy and sort of like out there, but yeah, yeah. it was good. And so uh, at but, the end of that, Cap showing how great of a leader he is, he's like, you know, the, it's going to Stark. And Scarlet Witch is like, are you fucking kidding me? Where do you think Ultron gets his insanity from, you jackass? And she... Cap, Cap doesn't even question her. He just sort of looks at her like, okay, I, I can, can tell that. you're telling the truth. And let me think about that. Tony is a jackass. And he's crazy. So let me and fix an something. Alcoholic. So that just shows how great Cap is, right? He he could even take something from this chick that has been fucking the team over this whole time and still assess her opinion and uh, grant it correctly. Like he's yeah, like, you're right. You're which fucking is funny. Right. Um, um, which is funny too because ironically, she's sort of the one who set it up for him to have the Mind Stone. So even she was like, oh, shit, yeah, that was the plan I set off because I know that it was going to fuck things over. Yeah. We need to stop this shit now. Yeah. Like, and so, <laughs> and that's great, too, because even when Stark's trying to tell Banner about doing it, Banner's like, dude, what the fuck? Yeah. Can I just, like, not fucking me in the middle of everything for once? Just leave me alone. Yeah. <laughs> like, and, but he goes through with it because he's Iron Man's lackey. Yeah. So, you know? so they make him, even though. I don't even know if he's his lackey. He's, he's literally his caddy. He is. He's his bitch. He's his other main bitch. He's the strong one. <laughs> and Tony, I, tell me about this. But doesn't does Tony not uh, not have this like prick smirk on his face this whole movie? He yeah. sort of just has like this prick smirk. Like I'm gonna do something fucked up. Yeah. No. Yeah, I, yeah. Totally. Uh, and <laughs> and even when he sees the Mind Stone come back, he even is like. First thing he's got to do. Mm, or, mm. Hey, look, Jarvis was protecting the nuclear codes. Maybe we can do it now. He's like, Jarvis is... And even Jarvis is like, I think it's worth a shot, sir. Well, well, the way he gets off Hawkeye is so stupid, too. It's like, how did Hawkeye fall for that? He's like, hey, Hawkeye, you got some old school spy shit you can get uh, fucking Black Widow back with? Which she, yeah. which she does, <laughs> apparently. So it worked. Um, but yeah, and, he skirts Hawkeye like... Hawkeye's like, I'll get on it, sir. <laughs> I do know some old school spy shit. And then, and then Quicksilver and Scarlet Witch and them show up, and like I said, don't really know how they were friends. Iron Man is just ready to thump over this right away, and Cap's ready to thump, and they thump with each other for they a second. Fight. Even Quicksilver's like, you know, fuck this shit. Yeah, I'm just gonna plug everything. And then Hulk's like super heated. He's like, I'm straight you without even changing a shade. Yeah, he tells Scarlet Witch he's like gonna rape and kill her, basically, <laughs> like in the creepiest way you could say that. Well, yeah, while he's staring at her tits the whole time. Because that's what I did. Yeah. <laughs> um, and, you know, Thor just shows up randomly uh, as Quicksilver, like an asshole. And With great. the Thor And the, like I said, the pacing, is, up to this point, the pacing is so great. Like, to me, it's a long movie, yes. Convoluted, yes. But to me, the pacing's on point. Every scene was enjoyable to me in this movie besides any bullshit love scenes. Well, you know, too, where this movie for me falls apart is when my... Right in that fucking now is when my least favorite character in the Marvel Universe is introduced. Yeah. Because... Well, Thor came from the convenience to do this. Convenience to Thorgasm. He came from the convenience, he Thorgasm, and he created Tony Stark's new best butt buddy. (laughs) Yeah. And uh, and the most boring as, as fucking that, character. As that show, as as Jarvis appears, Quicksilver moonwalks back Dude, to the oh, group, which was Jar- the greatest. You mean Vision, Jarvis, Jarvis, whatever. Jar- Jarvis Vision, personified. Yeah, yeah Heinz fifty seven, fucking Jarvis, whatever. <laughs> Quicksilver moonwalks to the group, which was great, and uh, Vision creates his cock in his cape. So that was cool. Yeah, which well, uh, he gets Thor's jealous. a little intimidated by how big Ultron made his cock. Yeah. And that he can grab the hammer. He's like, oh, shit, that's not my hammer anymore. Like, And it's true, though. Even fucking... I, maybe maybe Thor just has it right on the costume. Yeah. It is pretty badass. Yeah. And Looks even, so much better than Avengers 1. Yeah. Which I said, I don't know if it's dressed down Thor. I don't know. 
I don't know, uh, but even Vision looks at it and is like, damn, son, I need a cape. Yeah, <laughs> he makes one, though, yeah. which was the only cool thing he did. And uh, uh, and he even mentions on this monster theme, again, right, talking about, are, you know, are we monsters? Who are, are we looked at as monsters? Is that we when have Cap, to show what we're not. Cap gives the best speech in the yeah, world. Yeah, in the, in the sh- as they leave, as they go to get the start, you know, around Act 3, they, they go to get stop Ultron as Ultron is waiting for them, apparently. And the greatest cap speech in the history of the world. And also, like you said, shows the accountability part. Because their goal is to, as Cap states, Sokovians didn't want to be involved in this. We did this shit. And our first goal is to save them and then save the world. But they need to be saved. They didn't need to be involved in this. Even though people still die. Like I said, in this whole movie, everything of death is created by the fucking Avengers. Yeah, and, and Cap's really the only one who's, like, re- like I mean, they all sort of realize it, but Cap's really like, dude, we are not fucking escaping. Yeah. Like, we are saving every single person. Well, that's what he says. Die. Yeah. He's like, he's like, you know, Ultron says we're monsters. Well, we, uh, it's not about beating him. It's about seeing if he's right. Yeah. And even Iron Man looks at him like, you sly son of a yeah, bitch. Yeah, he's looking at him like, ever. he's looking at him like, Damn. He's like, I wish I were you right now. The Quicksilver was like, damn, I wish I had a Sokovia in America. And notice when they're getting like... Captain Su- Sokovia. <laughs> Captain Sokovia. Dude, I notice said Sokovia, America. <laughs> Captain Sokovia, no, yeah. No, notice too when they're getting ready, the only thing that Quicksilver gets is a brand new pair of sneakers. <laughs> like, were they New Balance or fucking Reeboks? I think they're Adidas. Adidas, okay. Yeah, and he got some fresh... Ste- that was his armor. Yeah. The, it's good shoes. Yeah. Like, he had, like, a hundred pairs of them. <laughs> He's like, these burn through fucking quick. And, and uh, so, yeah, and th- at this point, that's when Ultron sees that, you know, he's already, like they said, it's humanistically, humanistic part of him is that he's lonely as he talks to Black Widow about what he's going to do. He even says he, that. He's lonely. He's like, yeah. yeah, you know, like, I have no one to talk to now. And you uh, feel it in and his he, voice. Yeah, he, he genuinely wanted the twins. He felt bad that he lost the twins to his ideals. And um, as he pulls up the button or whatever, and, no, and he's angry that they took the body, when he actually sees Vision... He's like, oh, y'all took my shit? Yeah. Fuck y'all. Now I'm killing fucking everybody. I don't give a fuck. Right? Yeah. And, and so he, what? So him and Vision get together, right? He sees Vision. They have this talk, and Vision's like, dude, it, it doesn't have to be this way. Yeah. And fucking Ultron's like, all right, I'll make my move now then. Fuck you. Yeah. He's just like, I'll That's what I'm saying. It was you. great. I don't think the plan was to destroy the world yet. He just had that in his back pocket. And lifting the city to drop it on the earth to kill people based off of a button that somebody has to press is a lot cooler to me than a lot of the other Marvel shit, like a fucking portal or a one, two, three countdown for an explosion. Oh, yeah. It's so much cooler to me. It was and, my theory, too. Yeah. Is Do you think that maybe that wasn't even, like... Obviously, it wasn't his main plan of the movie. Yeah. But even then, do you think he really wanted to do that, or was it more like, hey, dude, I can do this... And no, I, he was heated. He no, was no, just pissed off. But prior to that, before seeing Vision, I wonder if his plan was like, I can do this, and I, if he was using it as a bargaining chip, essentially. Yes, I, that's what I... Like, I, give I, me I, Vision back. That was part of how he was going to get, like, you know, his Hitler status was going to get everyone to follow him. Yeah, because I think he wanted threat. the body back, so, yes. right? So he was like, dude, I'll, if you don't give me the body back, I'll do this. And the moment you realize that's never going to happen, he's yeah. like, fuck it. Because he used the rest of the vibranium for that. Yeah. So... Um, Yes, and he he essentially just wants the Avengers to look like failures in front of people. That I mean, that was his goal. But yeah, and at this point, he's like, "Well, then everybody needs to die." Yeah, and like if you can't accept me, I'm going to kill you. So yeah, sort so, of a baby. Yeah, and 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 Ultron sends all these. Yeah, and he acts he acts completely in rage and revenge. And when it, and and I guess you know because he is sort of a baby because he is literally like weeks old. Yeah, <laughs> and. uh so like I said, it, it, all the Avengers now are fighting the robots. It's all really cool. Thor has this fucking flying Zangief oh, move, shit. which was the great. Yeah. And my thing is Hulk cool too. If in Thor Ragnarok, if that's how they fucking fight, if it's just Thor and Hulk fucking everything up, I'm super down <laughs> for that shit because that shit was great. All the Captain America fight scenes were great. And notice how Captain America in his fight scenes too. This is like the first time you really see him start freaking out. 
Yeah. Like, and just sort of being over fighting. He's like, all right, dude, I get it. Like, can you, or when he's at the bridge, like, bridge is not clear. Yeah. Like, he's really losing it. He's like, yeah. dude, you don't see what I'm seeing, motherfucker. And he sticks to his ways. Yeah. He's like, I don't want a fucking escape plan. Don't think of one. And and that that's what was kind of cool about the movie, too, is, like, Stark's sort of like, we might have to make a choice, dude. I have to blow up this city with people on it uh, to save the world, or the world's done. And, um, and even Scarlet. And they all sort of accept that they're not going anywhere. So yeah. if the city blows up, the heroes go with them, um, and, and they're going to die. Yeah, all of them accept this. Um you hear Scarlet Witch and her brother sort of get told this, like, dude, you all, you all might, you're Avengers, right? But y'all might not come out of this. Yeah. And you hear Black Widow say it too. She's like, this would be a, a good place to die. Yeah. Especially, and when she says it, Cap's like, I agree. In like yeah. the most noble way of not talking ever. Yeah. Like, because you just feel like he knows, he already knows what's up. And so. And then, and then, and then you know, the Great Fury the great shows Fury. up. Or Fury. Conveniently. Yeah. At the right time. Uh, with some, with some apparently in the junkyard shield shit. The first shield helicarrier. Yeah, he's like, dude, I had to dig this shit up before this asshole made the ones that almost killed it. He's referring to Stark, of course. Made yeah. the ones that almost killed everybody. And and at this point, they go into the panoramic scene where all the heroes are protecting the button. I, I did not like it. There's just here's some things I felt about it. Why the fuck was Hawkeye in the close battle? Why is He's more advantageous to be sitting somewhere picking these fools off. They don't even That's really show him. Me. Like the one He's just like flinging his bow and arrow in the yeah. air like, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and he's a fucking asshole. And uh, then they have the no, 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 no scene with Thor and fucking Iron Man and Vision shooting the lasers at Ultron. And then yeah. Hulk just come through and straight, straight molly wops. Yeah. Molly wops Not, And Vision does it too with the hammer. Yeah. yeah. It's great. Dude, Ultron gets beat the fuck and up. Let's speak on Hulk, because Hulk had a little jokey scene there. Uh, no, Hulk, god damn it. Thor. Thor, yeah. right? Thor's back. The jokey, laid back, funny, overzealous Thor is back. No, yeah. He, he's great. He And they make him, they give him a lighter persona in this one, too. Yeah. They, especially when you see, like, the lifting of the hammer where he sort of freaks out, or when he steps on the kid's toy and he's like, oops. Yeah. And in this one, and he makes the joke. He's like, I'm running out of things. Yeah. And so what's crazy to me in this scene, too, is there's sort of this moment where everybody either has to accept death or sacrifice. And you see that with, um, you know, obviously you see it with the ultimate sacrifice of Quicksilver. You see, Which you got to respect. I mean, this is the second Avengers movie, and they kill off Quicksilver. Yeah. It's the first yeah. movie he's in, well, yeah. minus the after credit they scene. They kill him off. Yeah. Which I was sort of upset about just because I liked Quicksilver. They I mean, made him sick. Um, and it was funny, too, because in that scene, as Quicksilver saves Hawkeye, Hawkeye, like, has to save this kid because Hawkeye's about to hop on the ship. He's like, all right, my day's done. I killed <laughs> me some robots. And he sees this kid, and he's like, fuck, I got to save this fucking idiot. And he runs over and he does like runs it. over like an asshole though. He runs over like God damn it, not again. And that's when Ultron pops back literally to cause destruction. Yeah, he's just literally to piss just off. shooting a minigun out yeah. of a plane because he knows he's like the last Ultron. So he's like, "Fuck it, yeah, I'm just gonna try to kill them." Yeah, which it looks like Cap and Th- and Thor take like almost a direct hit, and they're cool. But for whatever reason, Quicksilver can't run fast enough to get out of the way. Yeah. Whatever. Uh, whatever. Yeah, exactly. Don't question that too Yeah. Long. But then you um, also see the pep talk, a, not a Fury pep talk this time, a Hawkeye, Hawkeye pep, pep talk, talk. yeah. Which is uh, like this dry, sarcastic, like, this is the oh, situation. Oh, and, this, and uh, sorry not to cut you off, but to speak with it, that Hawkeye scene at the end where Quicksilver saves him, the yeah. little connection, he's like, didn't see that coming. That was just funny because another, the other scene, the bullet scene was my favorite. Hawkeye shoots a bullet underneath... Quicksilver, yeah. When they're saving the, when they're trying to get a uh, vision made, that was sick. And he drops him down. He gives him the biggest pussiest kick I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> he just barely taps him. Uh, bad he editing on trying. that one, I think. Um, or maybe it was just a kick to just remind him, hey, I could fuck you up, but yeah. I'm Hawkeye. He's like, I'm fucking gonna kick you. Uh, so as as Quicksilver dies, Scar Witch has the super orgasm, like this squirting red orgasm, just destroys <laughs> a bunch of motherfuckers, and. <laughs> Then they have this, like, you know, this, this, I really like the score on this part when Quicksilver dies and everything is sort of, like, gloom. Like right? angelic. And this, or... oh, like all that, you know? <laughs> and, uh. No, it's true. And, and she goes stupid. She goes stupid, but she was the one that was like, I will stay behind, you know? And, like, 
That was a shitty accent. But uh, but is it really that shitty? Because they both had shitty accents. Chris yeah, Silver's accent was terrible. His was pretty bad. Hers was arguably was better. Right. Well, the I mean, we Olsen ignore her sister. accent because of her tits. Because she's the like, hottest Olsen sister ever. <laughs> Like, she looks a lot better than those um, uh, drugged-out other ones. And she goes to kill, break his heart out, but she left the button. She smoked her only job. Yeah, which is crazy, too, because they're like... And they how stupid know how is she? How works. does she think that that yeah. killed Ultron? <laughs> That's what I'm saying. They know how he works. How did she assume that this was going to work if they hadn't destroyed all the know. other ones yet? It didn't make any sense. And, uh, like, and like I said, at, at the end, uh, they destroy... They destroy the city. They get all all the people off the boat. Of course, Iron Man makes the big sacrifice here for the second time in a row. Yeah. Destroys the city. Um, but, and, dude, his flying scene of the debris was sort of sick. Yeah. Like when he was dodging well, all the debris of the city. And then War Machine shows up and helps them out. And, of oh, course, he's Vision. And what does he do? He's like, what? what? What's Who's going on? Who? Even this, like, too, he's like, what's this asshole doing? Yeah. I'm trying to have a, a War Machine story. He even yeah. says that. He's like, this will make a great War Machine story. Yeah, yeah. He's such a nerd, dude. So, yeah. So, they save the day. And, uh, of, co- of course, uh, S.H.I.E.L.D. doesn't trust Tony anymore. Uh, cause they made a new Avengers facility. They wanted out of his fucking house cause he's a wacko. <laughs> and, uh, at, uh, Hulk, uh, throw was the one that threw Ultron out of the plane that Scarlet Witch killed him. And Hulk drives away fucking sitting Indian style, smoking some peyote. Yeah. Fucking like into the, into the fucking sunrise. Like they're like, he probably, you know, got out of the ship, swam his happy yeah. ass back home and we're just too retarded to look for him. And, and, and black widow is sort of like, Oh my God, Hulk. And then she's like, well, Hulk's gone back to avenging mode. Yeah. Black widow doesn't give a shit yeah. anymore. It's like, she's like, it. all right, well there'll be another person to fill up this puse. <laughs> and then, you know, Iron Man quits. He's he's gonna get uh, his stable made for. Um, for yeah, Pepper. he's gonna make up. We don't bunny. even know if Pepper exists anymore because she's all uh, she doesn't have her contract. Was that anymore. what the giant bunny for? Was the invitation to be like, let's start at the bunny ranch? I maybe. <laughs> and him and Cap have this convo, and Cap's like, you know, uh, Iron Man's like, don't you want a family, you virgin bitch? And Cap's sort of like, well, you know, I, I still can't get Peggy's tits out of my mind, and for you know, she she's sick now. So he's like, I, I wish I had Alzheimer's so I could get those nice titties out of my mind. <laughs> and then they cut over to Cap because, of course, all he can do is be a soldier. He doesn't know how to do anything else. And they show the uh, NBDL Avengers, the fucking yeah. Euro, Euro League Avengers. The B team, like this is like, dude, this is the this is like the Harlem Globetrotters of the Avengers. Yeah, it's it, they're flashy. Yeah, they have a lot of skills. <laughs> But can they really play real basketball when it comes down to it? I don't know. You don't have any high flyers. And even no. even Cap says he's like, well, this ain't the 27 Yankees. And uh, she, Black she, Widow's she, like, well, we got some hitters. Even you know? Black Widow sort of gives him this look like, you fucking piece of shit. You know I don't know what that is. Like, not everybody <laughs> researched the world after they woke up from the and ice. the 27 Yankees? He was like four. Wasn't he? I don't know how old he was supposed to be. Because he was like in the 40s. In the 40s, he was like 20. So maybe, like, how we talk about, like, oh, you know, the fucking Cubs, like, greatest team ever yeah. of their time for that time. Like, he just thinks that about the 27. Maybe Yankees. he thinks that about the Avengers. Maybe Cap has his own fantasy Avengers team. He probably has all the cards, too. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, so that's how it ends. And I, like I said, <laughs> how do you, really... hold on. How do you play fantasy Avengers? Is it, I like, don't know. bad you, guys killed, killed the most Ultron, yeah. assists, <laughs> fucking rebounds? Like, did you catch another enemy? <laughs> There you go. So, uh, yeah, <laughs> uh, at the end of the day, I, I don't really get the hate on this movie. No, I thought all. it was great. It's just uh, long. It's just long, and like I said, it's it's convoluted. So if you're not really concentrating on the movie, it's easy to get lost. Yeah, and, and the dialogue is, is a little bit more complicated than most yeah. other Marvel movies. Yeah, uh, a lot of back-and-forth pithy shit, too. Yeah, real, and it's sort of just catty. Yeah. Like so, and like I said, the most downtime ever shown for the Avengers, which I don't think is necessarily a bad thing. No, it it gives you an actual look, and because you look at the first Avengers, and there's almost no break in between the plot. Yeah, of them just having downtime. Yeah, and like I said, I'll say this right now: Ultron's better than Loki. His Straight motives up to are me. more menacing. Maybe not better acted, I guess, because yeah. Loki's the shit in yeah, terms of yeah, acting. Yeah, but in terms and over, of he's definitely a good over actor. Yeah. <laughs> Loki can lose his shit in a way that's so pleasing yeah. to the eye, especially 
when he like goes crazy there in the second one. Yeah. Second um, Thor. The second Thor. Yeah. Yeah. And then the first Avengers, he starts fucking losing his shit too. Yeah. Oh, when he gets beat up by the Hulk, that's so satisfying. Yeah. And you don't have that in this one. You know, they took that away from Well, you. they still kept that theme when Hulk threw him to the ground. Yeah, but dude, when, in terms of his death, his ending, the defeat he didn't of, die. Of, of, of Ultron. Oh. The defeat, because that's the defeat that of That was Loki Vision was, at the end. Yeah. When Ultron was basically calling him... A slave. Yeah. He said a slave. Yeah, you are a slave to these people. He's like, I would have actually done the job and you just became a slave. Isn't that ironic? Yeah. Like, you know, and basically he's saying, like, I was going to follow this to the letter of the law. Yeah. And you're just going to follow their dumb asses. And, and Vision has this weird hairline. <laughs> it's the too. infinity hairline. <laughs> That's what they call it in the hood. Um, you put yeah. a jewel right there in the middle of your head, yeah. and just, like, you could already tell Vision sort of wanted to fuck Scarlet Witch because he kept her alive. He's like, I can see those titties from twenty miles in the air. <laughs> right, it was like the one person he saved. That was very <laughs> weird. And uh, he, so he, technically, wouldn't that be like so? If he's the embodiment of that stone, would she be his daughter if the stone made her? And how convenient does she play? An Olsen plays a twin. Uh, the one that's not a twin too yeah. the hottest also she has great too oh so. Jesus uh, so at the end of the day like I said I don't really get the hate on this movie I really liked it it was yeah. uh, number three on my list I don't feel like going through our list so suck my dick what I will say though <laughs> is that James Spader can narrate anything in my life and I'll love that shit if you can do Ultron like that you can do anything in my book and hopefully he likes our order of opinion.